farm friends. Today we are going to draw a derpy doodle of a rabbit. So um, rabbits have all different kinds of ears, but for this particular doodle, we will be doing ears that are standing up and ones actually folded over. All you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. Let's start with art. So the first part of our picture we're gonna draw is our round face. So just a round circle right in the middle, doesn't need to be perfect. Remember, this is a derpy doodle. If you need to pause the video at any time, you can, and then just jump back in with us. So the next part we're gonna draw are the ears. So we're gonna do a curved line that goes to a point on this side, and another one of those and meets at the point here. Kind of a leaf shape, but very long and thin and then you're gonna do a similar shape inside. Okay, a thin leaf shape. Now, for the folded ear, it's a little bit different. We're gonna do the folded leap part that's leaning over. So we're gonna draw a curved line down and another curved line to meet at a point and then cross those with a slightly curved line. That's the folded over part. Now we're gonna draw a curved line down to the head and another over here, and some of the inside of the ear, just like this. And that looks like the ear is folded over, okay, like it's flopping. Next, we're gonna draw a rounded rectangle nose and color it in, and a little line, curved line down to the bottom of the face for a mouth, two of those to make a little mouth. We're gonna draw our derpy eyes, so upside down U and another to create a crescent, a dot underneath, bigger circle on this side with a little dot up at the top. And actually, I should have put whiskers on my example, so let's put some whiskers on this one. Rabbits, I always think of their long whiskers when I think of rabbits. So next we're gonna do the body. So we're gonna draw a curved line right about here near the whiskers, down and stop. And we're gonna do the same on this side. And then we're gonna, we're actually gonna show three legs here. So we're gonna draw one curved line for one leg right about there, and another curved line for the other leg right here. And we'll do the same for this side, and we'll do another here. And you can have that meet the body. And then we're gonna do four little circles for the toes. Okay, connect in the middle. And then we're also going to do some toes here to show that back leg a little bit. Finally, a curly tail, a fuzzy tail, is a scalloped line like a cloud shape right here on that side. I'm also gonna add a little fur underneath the neck area of the rabbit, and that's just a zig zigzag line. Okay. Our rabbit looks great, but we need to put it in an environment. So we're gonna draw a zigzag line as the horizon for some grass, stopping at our bunny, and then continuing on this side, some tall, some short, when I think of rabbits, um, I think of them always trying to get into the garden. So we're gonna put like a little vegetable garden here. So to do that, the first thing we're going to draw is the outside of the garden box here. So we're gonna do a straight line down right here and then a diagonal line off the paper. Then we're gonna do another diagonal line across right here and that can go all the way off your paper. You can make it kind of go diagonal like that. Doesn't matter, it's just the corner edge of this garden that the bunny is thinking about digging into. So then we're gonna add some heads of lettuce. That's what these are here. And that's just like wobbly, squiggly scribble lines. We'll do another right here. Okay. If you wanna put a little line under there like it's buried in the dirt, you can. I'm also gonna put some tall 
This might be like tops of carrots. And you can put a little line there too. And then if you have more room and you want to add some more in your vegetable garden, you might add something like this. Maybe it's a little bit of spinach. I don't have a whole lot of room, so I'm gonna leave mine just like that. To finish off our scene, we're gonna put some clouds in the sky like it's a beautiful sunny spring day. That scalloped line. We're gonna put another cloud over here and we'll have the sun peeking out. So just a big curved line like some of the sun is behind the cloud and some of it is in front, is showing. And that is how I would draw a derpy doodle of a rabbit. Remember, with art, you just have to start.